So this morning I got in the vault and this message greeted me. Let's fire it up. And I'm getting a message that the left rear tire is down to 17 PSI. That's not a good thing, especially the car doesn't have a spare tire and has a tire inflation kit and all that stuff. Now I'm at home in my garage, so I'm really not wanting to waste um, the tire inflation kit at this point. But here's the problem. The left front looks pretty soft. The left rear actually looks pretty deep. I'm going to go ahead and I'll check it with my tire pressure gauge. I've got an inflator and uh, that way I can kind of check it out. I'm a little torqued by this because, uh, well, A, the car doesn't come with a spare tire. Um, B, um, I'm not sure why I picked up the nail. I mean, there's been some uh, home remodeling projects around the neighborhood, so it's entirely possible that uh, I've got a roofing nail or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and air it up and we'll see if we can clear the message. Looks like we can confirm that is the left front that's low. Um, I've attached the uh, line, airline from the uh, compressor here uh, to the tire. And this compressor gauge is pretty accurate. I use it for filling all sorts of things, bike tires and uh, car tires and whatnot. So, um, yeah, it's definitely around 25 psi, which is what the dash told me. Uh, it was at 40 this, or actually, no, it was alarmed me at about. Um, so we're holding at about 25, it was this way this morning, so I'm assuming it's a slow leak. So I'm gonna air it up. Um, and that way. Uh, what a good thing. Looks like the rest of the car. We'll let it run for a bit. It takes about five to ten minutes for it to fill up. Funny, all right, so you can see that the tire pressure is coming up um, on the display. Now, here's my editorial comment. Notice the display says it's the left rear that's slow, not the left front. Um, PMS system is only as smart as. Um, how it's been configured. So when the tires were rotated on this last, um, they didn't synchronize it correctly. Now it looks like um, we're above the threshold to trigger the warning light. Um, so that's about 36, 37. So when I take this car in to get the tire checked, I'm going to have them um, reconfigure the TPMS to make sure that the sensors are appearing in the appropriate corner. So I like TPMS. I think it's an awesome system. Um, I know there's some added complexity with the uh, sensors and everything else, but um, you know um, I've had warnings uh, due to cold weather, and this is the second time I've had a tire. Um, uh, last year I had a similar thing. I had a roofing nail on one of the tires. So, slow leak, um, it's great. Not so great not having a spare. So, anyway, I'm going to check it. I'm getting close to where I want to be. Well, there we have it. Um, it looks like the, uh, the uh, other side of the car, the right side, um, or passenger side, also has uh, a similar issue. The, the side of the car is correct, but not the uh, front versus back. Um, so, when I take it in, I'm going to have them recalibrate it so the uh, TPMS is picking up on the correct corner. So... Whenever the uh, last winter I had the car service and they rotated the tires up, uh, they didn't uh, update the uh, TPMS to the correct corner. So, kind of a bummer. Um, but um, at least I've got um, 42 PSI um, all the way around. Um, there's some question. I think the factory for 2011, 2012 volts recommends 38, um, but I think they bumped it up. And most people I've read on volt forums I think 42 is the ideal. Um, ideal PSI for ride comfort and rolling resistance. So I'm going to leave them at, at 42. Um, we'll watch the, uh, we'll see how big that leak is. I mean, obviously it's not gushing out, so it's not like a, a huge puncture, but uh, definitely an annoyance that needs to be addressed. So tomorrow I'll take it in, have them look at it and uh, see if it needs a plug. Hopefully just a plug and not a new tire, but I'm assuming uh, a plug will probably be what will, what, what is happening. Uh, since I know we've got some construction in the neighborhood and um, I probably end up picking up a roofing nail or something like that. So 
anyway, uh, that's my Volt update for today. And a cautionary tale, um, while TPMS is nice, don't trust it. Um, trust but verify. Make sure that the uh, correct tire is being indicated. Um, like, you, like you saw here, I thought it was the left rear that was low, when in reality it was the left front. So visual check, check with a tire pressure gauge, um, and then um, make sure they resync it correctly um, when you're having your tires uh, repaired or rotated. That's all for today. Have a good evening.